today you will find us camping with the geese at Pitch and Forge, Tennessee. We're Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping, where it's all about the people and the places. If you're new here, for us, it's all about the people and the places, just like he said. If you see the people in the background back here, it's all about them. That's why we're here. It is. Because for us, it's all about the people we meet and the places we get to see along our journey. So if you would like to join us in our journey, and we hope you will, please subscribe to our channel so you can follow along. A couple behind us, we actually met camping a couple years ago and they told us they were gonna be in Pigeon Forge and they invited us to come join them. Say hi guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> At a campground we'd never been to before. It's called Camp Rivers Landing and it's right in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. As you can see, all the sites on this end, back end, to the river right to the river you can buy tubes um in the $9. office for nine dollars a piece and they have a um an air chuck to pump them up or you could bring your own and you carry them down past the campground there's a hotel and you put them in the water and you tube down and you get out right there are there little the rapids in there so yeah, it gets a little bumpy here there's and a there. couple of places where there's some rapids but um people have been having a great time the whole weekend we've been here tubing down the river the geese float down the river, fly back and hit and float back again. They kind of do it the same. I think they must have learned from the, the people <laughs> on the tubes, or I guess the tubes might have learned from the people on the, ge the geese. I don't know. But this is a really, really nice campground. I really, we really like this campground. It's small. But it's but, really nice. But we're really um, nice. And I think they have We themed. were here for like a raging Cajun raging weekend, Cajun. I think is what the theme was. So included in your um, stay Saturday night, they all had you can eat a boil so it was a huge spread of sausage crawfish corn on the cob and potatoes they also had beer and hurricanes so it was it was fun they had live music oh and jambalaya and, and barbecued spam. spam have you ever and had bologna you ever had barbecue spam it was good it was pretty it was easy. really good so anyway they had live music and lots of food, lots of fun. They had more food than they had people because there was leftovers. It was really good. Um, so amenities here that they have at this campground, short of the river, which you can also fish in. We didn't mention that, but there was a fellow down here trout fishing and gave a trout to our friends down here for breakfast one morning because he only caught one that wasn't enough for his family. So something else you can do. They also have a very nice pool. They have a kid's zone at the end that has like the mushroom thing with the water and water squirting all up out of the sidewalk. Um, chairs, floats. They have your, your air pillow. You love your little air pillow. They have the there. big jumping pillow <laughs> and it wasn't too wet here to jump on it. So we jumped on it. She didn't jump long. No, I don't want to break something like me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they also have a playground that's fenced in. They have a dog park at the other end from where we're staying that's fenced in down by the river. They have some cornhole boards out. And they had the checkerboard, a big yeah, checkerboard. Yeah, they have the big checkerboard on the concrete. And I think you messed with the Jenga while you were there. And they have the big Jenga. And then they have like a pavilion. That's where the food was, but it's open the whole time you're here. Um, they have picnic tables and stuff set up in there. They have a really nice laundry facility. Very, very, very clean. Yes. If you saw our last video, we said something about some of the campgrounds aren't really clean on the laundromats. Everything some of the laundromats aren't clean when you go out somewhere, but this place was spotless. The laundry area was nice. Like the washers on the bottom, dryers on the top, huge folding area. Um, they, had game, they had a little game room in there if you wanted to play some games. Yep. They had a drink machine in there for you to drink. 
You don't have to bring any change. It's all done it's by your, your card. card, which is nice because I don't know if you guys know, but change is getting harder and harder to find now. You yes. can't find quarters. So um, that makes it a lot easier for us on the road if you just swipe your credit card and just do your laundry. And then also in that same building, it's like, I guess their bathhouse, but each stall is like an individual bathroom. So we're starting to see that um, a couple more places in some of yeah, the newer parts. Yeah, and it's parts. so nice. And they have like, they also have the fully handicapped, um, you know, shower that you don't no more step football, No more football showers where everybody's all no. together and we're all no. in the same little rooms and all each that kind of stuff. Little... You have your own room with a bathroom, a shower, a toilet, locks. Yeah. You, have your own, you have your own bathroom. You have which your is own really nice. little bathroom. Everything was tile, very nice, very clean. Very clean. Very clean. Um, they have all their sites are back in. They're all they're, they're all, all 20, 30, and 50 full hookup with I think you said 60 channels of HD TV or they have cable a lot TV. of cable. We don't use cable, but they do have a lot of cable on the internet. They have Wi-Fi throughout now, the Now they park. do have Wi-Fi. When we were here during the week, it was fine. When it got to the nighttime and all the kids came out and got on their tablets and their phones and their it's, computers, it, it slowed slow it down. down but that's everywhere though. We were able to upload videos. So if I can upload a video, you can do a lot. Of, you can do pretty good on work. So they, they actually had pretty decent Wi-Fi and it's free. You don't have to pay for it. And so the sites on this side, you can kind of see down here. They all have, all the sites have fire pits, but the ones on the river side are a gravel parking area. They all have these nice metal picnic tables and the fire pits. And of course they have the water. Um, the ones on the opposite side of the park where, where we, are, we are, they don't have water, but we don't have the water. Cause I didn't book in time to get a water site. They were all taken. Um, but they back up to the base of the mountain, which is quiet. Cause that means nobody's behind you. Nobody and those else. sites have a gravel parking area, but a concrete pad where our picnic table is. So that's nice. And then there's sites in between because it's a big loop. And the sites in between are back end sites. Some of them are like ours, they're gravel with the concrete pad, and some of them are actual concrete, like where you park as a concrete pad. So those are all really, really level. There's, yeah, there's several different options. We didn't have a problem getting level here. Um, Anyway. You, are, you are in a mountain, so it's not 100% level, but we didn't have any issues getting in. And we have a 45 foot rig, so we didn't have any problem at all getting in. Um, you do book your site online, like you pick your specific site and it tells you how long it is and everything like that. Um, so that's nice. And it's in Pigeon Forge, so there's... Your tourist trap. You got everything anything here. Anything you so. want to do. Pigeon Forge. You're in Pigeon Forge. Gatlinburg's not far away. We went um, up there to the mountains today. Yeah, we drove up to the mountains. Saw some it dropped deer. about 20 degrees from the 90 degrees up to almost 70-ish degrees. It, it was getting cooler up there. So whether you want to, like, here, everything in town is go-karts and those little coaster. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Um, but it's it's very touristy. A lot but of restaurants. Then, so if you need restaurants, they have plenty of, plenty of food. So. Yeah. And then today, like you said, we just went to the mountains. So we just drove. There's National Park not too far away, so you can check out the wildlife. And if you don't way. have your own camper, there is, I think, one RV site or RV rental site. He has site. some RV rentals here, so you can rent the RV. It's on site. And but the big thing we really like, if you don't have a camper and you have a couple friends or family members that want to come in, you can farmhouse. book the farmhouse. You know, Lisa's all about the farmhouse, because this used to be an old dairy at one time. It used to be a dairy, and so the farmhouse, I don't remember, I've been looking at it all week, was built or established in 1910 maybe 1915 i don't remember it says over there but um the owner let us take a peek at it today and it's huge huge <laughs> yeah i think i counted you could sleep 12 people there it has its own theater room in there with all kinds of couches yeah. in there and you can sit there and you can everybody I think the theater room down. you could probably put 12 people in it maybe more, yeah, than, maybe that. more than that it was huge. And so there's like two bedrooms with king size beds, another bedroom that's got two full size beds, I think, another bedroom that's got a set of bunk beds and then two more twin beds, bathrooms, a huge den. It has its own little carport outside. Kitchen, screened in porch. Yeah, carport outside and it had a great big grill outside and it has a it has its own fire pit with its own chairs around it so you don't have to bring your chairs. So there's no excuse. 
not to check this place yeah, out. Even if you're not camping, if you want to just come and bring the whole family and you want to have a weekend or a week there, there's... You have the cabin type of house and you have an RV. So if you, yeah. you don't have your own RV, you've got to make. And they have themed weekends like regularly. Weekend. Yeah, it's not just this weekend. This weekend was just the Rage and Cajun weekend. Um, there's different themes like... This week, everybody I'm seems like I'm about to like cheat. I have the paper here. I can tell you, we, we can probably go through some of it. Yeah, but like everybody that's checked in this week, because it's in the this, middle of the this week. This next week is the Jeep geeks. Invasion, and then the Labor Day weekend, and then they have a all Vols weekend coming up. They have a Pigeon Forge Rod, rod run, run. So like hot Road rods. Kill weekend, Mexican Fiesta weekend. Uh oh, we might have to come, come back. Then. And they're not just necessarily themes for the campground. Like I think the Jeep invasion and the hot rod thing We've are seen a lot citywide, of Jeeps around here. so it's not just here. But um, literally, we're not even a block off the main parkway, as they call it. If it wasn't for the bugs, it would, you could tell how quiet it was. Um, so we're right here, convenient to everything, but we're in our camper. So they also, I forgot to mention, at the pool, they have a food truck trailer it's called dazzle delights i saw kids this weekend with like chicken and fries and um ice cream and stuff like that so on the weekends that's parked right by the pool so if you're ever in the pigeon forge area i guess it looks like they're op open year round pretty yes, much Yes, they're open year round year round so if you're in the pigeon forge area you need to come check out Camp Rivers Landing. You won't be disappointed. Won't be disappointed. We really, really, really liked it here. If you come here, you've seen our video, let them know that you saw this video. And it is a family, it's a family establishment. It's a family run. The, Those are the ones we love the most. The fellow that owns it, um, it's been in his family. I believe he said his grandfather bought the farm, you know, back when it was a dairy farm. And then they, over the course of the years, turned it into a campground. But he's doing a great job. We've had a great weekend visiting friends that we met. Keep up the good, good, keep up a good job, Logan. Yes, we have, we have really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you for having us. Thanks for putting on such a good show this weekend. It was a good time. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, as always, we need you guys to like them. You gotta like them. Subscribe. Subscribe. Ring, ring the, bell. the bell so you don't miss the next video. And until the next time you find us in one of these lovely campgrounds, safe travels, y'all.